Well, I am privileged to visit students pursuing their faith in Jesus on a weekly and soon daily basis with my role in Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And during the winter, I had the chance to spend the morning with Delphus Jefferson's FCA group and share a message on forgiveness. In this OIO Faith on the Field segment, I found that the Wildcats are having plenty of fun with their faith. I really look forward to FCA every week. I mean, it's a time to come spend time with people who believe the same thing as you, and it's just nice to share with God before school starts. It's a fun time when everyone can get together and have some fun and also learn God's Word, and it's just a great way to start your day. The Wildcats are divided into three different teams at the beginning of the school year, and then each Friday they compete in different crazy activities thought up by coach and teacher Josiah Stober. A lot of people get here because of the game time. I mean, it's time when we all look like idiots, and Mr. Stober picks the nice games that make us look dumb. <laughs> Do you talk about it then the rest of the day, kind of? Yeah, whoever looks the most stupid, people like to share about it. <laughs> Those crazy games then usher in a time to hear a lesson from the Bible, and God has been teaching the students different things that can apply to their lives individually. He's really been teaching me to forgive people, like you said today. We've talked about that a lot and some other groups too. It's a struggle for me, but I've really been working on it. Looking forward to college and deciding what I want to do with my life. God's really been there, and I've had to talk to him a lot about what he really wants me to do this year and it's just been a really good year for me. And an amazing ending to the story, Kennedy's SUV was broadsided a few weeks ago when she was going to pick up her sister from dance class. She walked away unharmed. God is indeed good. Well, speaking of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the annual FCA Spring Banquet is coming Sunday, April 27th at 6 p.m. here in Lima at Grace Evangelical Community Church. Former Michigan State linebacker Chris Norman will be the keynote speaker. Plus, we'll honor FCA Athletes of the Year from different schools and different huddles. Dinner tickets are $15 for a chicken dinner. Adults, uh, 10 for students, I should say. Proceeds do help District 8 FCA. You can email me at alinch at wtlw.com or call us at the station to get tickets. Come be in a part of an encouraging night highlighted by Norman, who had the chance to play pro football but opted for a higher calling. John Newton. He's the author of Amazing Grace, and his theology of a calling, he said that it should be accompanied with an earnest, warm desire, an earnest, warm desire, and literally preaching the truths of God, heralding the gospel, especially in a place like the city of Detroit. This is something that consumes my thought. Um, it consumes the things that I do. My whole life is built around now and even the way that I plan to exercise some things in the future is completely built around preaching. It's completely built around evangelism. Uh, Paul said, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel and that is exactly how I feel. Uh, so with that being said, I know this is something that I must do and I simply want to be obedient to God uh, with the burden and the charge that he has placed on my life. Um, and there are some other things that go into that. Um, you could talk about the fact that um, I, I just went into the scriptures because that is the ultimate source. I, I talked to other believers in the church. I, I witnessed the Lord do some things providentially to sort of point me into a specific direction. But at the end of the day, uh, this is something that not only do I want to do, but I feel like I have to do. And if that is the case, then I want to be obedient and follow my Lord wherever he would take me.